Hi there, and welcome to this day in history for September 13th. September 13th is the 256th day of the year in the Gregorian calendar, 257th in leap years with 109 days remaining to the end of the year. Wow, it's running right up on us, isn't it? <laughs> Today's word is Gothic. Gothic is an interesting word. Primarily, it is considered an adjective that refers to a particular style of architecture which originated in France in the 12th century and is characterized by the use of pointed arches and ribbed vaults. Another distinguishing characteristic of Gothic architecture is flying buttresses <laughs> and ornamental gables. Gothic as an adjective may also pertain to or designate the style of painting produced between the 13th and 15th centuries, which is characterized by a tendency toward realism and interest in detail. The word Gothic can also relate to Goths or their language. And in this context, I'm not talking about the morbid young goth girls or goth boys, but goth as it pertains to the Teutonic people who invaded and settled in parts of the Roman Empire in the third to fifth centuries. Those goths. <laughs> I'd like to take a moment to mention that links to my research are included in the show notes. I ask you to go ahead and click that like button. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Stay to the end for those outtakes and let me know your thoughts in the comments section. Remember that you can share this video with others by an email or in your social media. And also, I'm, I'm going to start putting a link in the show notes to the Day in History playlist and also up in the, let's see, does it go up there or up there? <laughs> one, of, one of those corners. <laughs> One of those corners where the I cards go, I'm going to put a link to the playlist there so that uh, you could see them all if you want to. And with that, we're going to start in the year 1501 when Michelangelo began work on his statue of David. On September 13, 1504, Queen Isabella and King Ferdinand of Spain issued a royal warrant, it's basically a, an official order for the construction of a royal chapel to be built. That's where they wanted to be buried. And in fact, is where they are buried. This is the Royal Chapel of Granada. And it is a beautiful piece of architecture in the Gothic style. I love that they describe the style of this chapel as Isabelline. The chapel went on to be constructed between 1505 and 1517, and it is where Queen Isabella and King Ferdinand are buried. On September 13, 1609, Henry Hudson reached the river that would later be named after him, the Hudson River. On September 13, 1788, the Philadelphia Convention set the date for the first presidential election in the United States and New York City became the country's temporary capital. On September 13, 1791, King Louis XVI of France accepted the new constitution. I don't know if he realized it or not, but that was the very constitution that was gonna put him off the throne. This is the birthday of American physician and biologist Walter Reed, born September 13, 1851. He was a U.S. Army physician, and he led the team that confirmed the theory of a Cuban doctor that yellow fever was transmitted by mosquitoes rather than by direct contact. If his name seems familiar to you, you may have heard of the Walter Reed Army Hospital in Washington, D.C., or Walter Reed Army Medical Center. He passed away at 51 due to peritonitis resulting from an appendix rupture. This is the birthday of American businessman Milton Hershey, born September 13, 1857. He is indeed the Hershey of the Hershey's chocolate fame. He founded the Hershey Company, commonly known as Hershey's. <laughs> I knew a woman one time from Hershey, Pennsylvania, and 
And uh, she talked frequently about how you could smell the chocolate all over town. Mr. Hershey lived to the age of 88. On September 13th, 1898, Hannibal Goodwin patented a method for making a transparent, flexible roll of film out of celluloid. He'd actually filed for that patent in May of 1887, and in the time between when he filed for the patent and then when it was issued on this date, 87 to 98, holy cow, 11 years. 11 years later, George Eastman had already started the production of real film using his own process. On September 13, 1899, a man named Henry Bliss was the first person in the United States to be killed in an automobile accident. This is the birthday of French-American actress Claudette Colbert, born September 13, 1903. She was in a lot of movies. Claudette Colbert lived to the age of 92. Plenty of battles and war news today throughout history. American Revolutionary War, the War of 1812, the Mexican-American War, the American Civil War, World War I, World War II, I'm not going to report any of it. I'm just telling you that there was a lot of it on this day. This is the birthday of British novelist, poet, and screenwriter Roald Dahl, born September 13, 1916. He wrote a good many books, and a good many of those were for children, including James and the Giant Peach and Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Speaking of chocolate again, Mr. Dahl lived to the age of 74. This is the birthday of American singer Mel Torme, born September 13, 1925. He composed the music for the Christmas song, the one that goes, chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Yeah, Mel Torme wrote that music, and he co-wrote the lyrics with Bob Wells. He was on uh, movies and TV and had quite a music career while he was alive, and he lived to the age of 73. On September 13, 1948, a woman named Margaret Chase Smith was elected as a United States Senator and actually became the first woman to serve in both the U.S. House of Representatives and the U.S. Senate. On September 13, 1953, Nikita Khrushchev was appointed General Secretary of the Communist Party of the Soviet Union. On September 13, 1956, the IBM 305 Ramac was introduced. It was the first commercial computer to use disk storage. On September 13, 1964, Martin Luther King Jr. addressed a crowd of 20,000 West Berliners. In 1971, about this time, there was a prison riot in Attica Prison in New York and on September 13 of that year, state police and National Guard stormed the prison to quell the riot. It didn't go well, by the way. We'll probably see more news about this in the next few days. On September 13, 1977, General Motors introduced a diesel engine. The Oldsmobile diesel engine appeared in the Delta 88, the Oldsmobile 98 and the Oldsmobile Custom Cruiser, along with a few others. On September 13, 1985, Super Mario Brothers was released in Japan for the Nintendo Entertainment System. This was the genesis of the Super Mario series of platforming games. On September 13, 1988, Hurricane Gilbert was recorded as the strongest hurricane in the Western Hemisphere up to that date. Not to be outdone, Hurricane Wilma beat him in 2005 based on barometric pressure. On September 13, 2008, Hurricane Ike made landfall on the Texas Gulf Coast of the United States. Poor old Galveston Island, oh boy. I caused heavy damage on Galveston Island and Houston and surrounding areas. Eddie Money was an award-winning American rock singer and songwriter who had a good bit of success in the 1970s and 1980s. He had 11 top 40 songs. The one that always pops to mind for me is Two Tickets to Paradise. He faced a lot of personal challenges in his life, some of them that he created himself, 
as is true with most of us, I suppose. But he got through all that. In 2019, however, he suffered some serious health challenges. He had a heart valve surgery in July, and in August he was diagnosed with stage four cancer. Eddie Money passed away on September 13, 2019 at the age of 70. And I think that's gonna do it for us today. Hope y'all learned something you didn't know before. I know I sure did, <laughs> I always do. As always, links to my research are included in the show notes. Now, if you enjoy this series, you can check out the playlist that contains the videos within it. And it's gonna be up in the, let's see, does it go up there or up there? <laughs> one, of, one of those corners. <laughs> I have another channel, Eight Susquehanna, where I showcase the handmade jewelry and personal accessories that I've made and offer for sale. Yep, I guess that's it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. On September 13th, 17th, gonna be a lot of edits out of this one. <laughs> say that again. You didn't say that very well. Okay. A lot of mistakes today. Maybe I need to go get me some lunch. All right. We're at 16 minutes now and it's not going to be anywhere near that long because I've made so many mistakes that need to be cut out. All right. This is what happens when you don't clean up your script. <laughs> I might leave that part out. <laughs> I don't know how all that's going to go together or if it's even going to make it to the video. We'll just see. That's not going to go. Yeah, we're going to cut those out. Now, that'll all be laying on the cutting room floor. <laughs> so I'll just do that whole thing over. <laughs> that might not make it into the video. We'll see. Changing it up.